The Periodic Table. The Periodic Table is a tool used by scientists to organize the elements. Elements are arranged by atomic number in a way that elements within a group or row have similar properties. Now there are three main categories of the periodic table. Metals, nonmetals, and metalloids, otherwise known as semi-metals. Metals are located on the left side of the zigzag line. Some general properties of metals are that they are hard, shiny, malleable, ductile, good conductors of heat and electricity, they have high melting and boiling points, and they're mostly solids. Metals are known for having one, two, or three valence electrons, which they love to give away while bonding with other elements. And the different types of bonds that metals can make are metallic, which is metals with metal, and ionic, metal with nonmetal. Nonmetals are located on the right side of that zigzag line. And some general properties of nonmetals is that they are brittle and dull. They are poor conductors of heat and electricity. They have low melting and boiling points, and they're mostly gases, but can also be solids or liquids. Now, nonmetals are known for having four, five, six, seven, or even eight valence electrons. So they're always looking to pick up a few more to complete their shells during bonding. Now, nonmetals in group 18 do not form bonds, and that is because their outer electron shells are already complete. The different types of bonds that nonmetals can create are covalent, which is nonmetal with nonmetal, and ionic, metal with nonmetal. Metalloids or semi-metals are located on that zigzag line, and they have properties of both metal and non-metals. Some general properties can be that they are brittle. They can be shiny or dull. They can be ductile or malleable. They're good conductors some of the time, and they have varying melting and boiling points, and they're pretty much all solids. Now, metalloids are known for having three, four, five, or six valence electrons. And while boron is trying to give its three away, the rest are trying to pick up what they need to complete their shells. The different types of bonds that they can create are covalent, which is nonmetal with nonmetal, and ionic, metal with nonmetal. So which category does this element belong to based on its atomic number at the top right and atomic mass at the top on the bottom. This is metal. What category does this element belong to? This is a nonmetal. Thank you for watching another Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond videos. For more ideas on how to incorporate science, technology, and skills for life into your classroom, go to adventuresinistem.com.